just recently we were discussing a lot about currencies and uh, basically uh, one global currency referring to and uh, one made up the let's say the opinion that Bitcoin might become a global currency where other fiat currencies are uh, kind of seeing it as a reference of value. Uh, what's your take on that? Do they, would it ever go there to replace the dollar and have a Bitcoin as the global currency everybody's referring to? I, I think that worldview of uh, competition in which one currency wins and becomes a de facto and only standard at the exclusion of all others is a model that can only be supported by war. It is a model that can only be supported by coercion, and violence, and monopoly. And it is fundamentally a statist perspective of a zero-sum game, in which you only win if you crush the opponent. Um, Bitcoin doesn't represent a zero-sum game. It represents a choice that you have in addition to everything that already exists. That doesn't need to displace, or replace, or force anyone to use it. And certainly, I think a system by which Bitcoin becomes a mandatory system, uh, you know, some, I was asked by a journalist once, do you think that the euro could adopt a digital currency like uh, Bitcoin or something like it to replace the euro? And I was like, that's a complete fascist dystopia, as if the euro itself wasn't already bad enough. <laughs> um, One world currency means one world authority means one world governance system means one world culture. It's as likely as one world religion. It's as likely as one world language. It's as likely as one world culture. We are not a one world. We are uh, we are many, and and so I, to me, Bitcoin represents the choice to use alternatives where otherwise it would be prohibited to use alternatives. Bitcoin is a global currency. Bitcoin is the de facto currency of the internet today. Bitcoin is the most uh, successful, open, borderless uh, currency that has ever existed. It is already a reference of value for many of the people in this room. It is my income and has been for the last three years almost exclusively. Um, it is a foundation of uh, my ability to travel around the world and do these things. I am already using it as my preferred currency for the vast majority of my expenses. And I do that voluntarily, and no one has to follow me. They have to follow me only through the persuasion of my arguments and ideas. It is an open market, voluntary system. And I think the idea of imposing that on a nationalist and border basis, or any ag aggregation of states, is, is fundamentally wrong. So no country will choose to implement a digital currency unless that digital currency is a centralized control status nightmare of surveillance, in which case you probably shouldn't use it. No country will almost certainly choose to use Bitcoin because they don't have to, because it is meaningless for a country to choose to use Bitcoin, because a country is just its people. And if its people choose to use Bitcoin, they will even if their government disagrees. And if they don't, they will even if their government wants them to. Um, we are associating currencies with flags and nation states and top-down authority and the respectability and uh, credibility that comes from a central issuer. And those are all notions uh, that are completely antiquated in every way. Uh, so. Just choose.